Hello, home cooks. It's Miranda Valentine, editor of the lifestyle blog Everything Sounds Better in French. And today in the kitchen, we are sauteing some mushrooms with garlic and parsley. This is going to be an absolutely delicious side dish, sure to please any mushroom lover. So we have our ingredients laid out here. We're going to start with one pound of either white or cremini mushrooms, washed, trimmed, and quartered. Or if it's a very large mushroom, you're going to cut it into sixths. Then we have five tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. We have five to six cloves of garlic, which have been minced. We have one tablespoon of sherry vinegar, two tablespoons of chopped fresh parsley, and then three quarters of a teaspoon of kosher salt. So over here I have a nice large skillet. We are going to begin by pouring the oil in before I turn it on. And we are gonna put this on high heat and we are going to heat this oil until it's hot and shimmering. So let's just give it a few minutes to get hot and shimmering and I'll show you what that looks like. Okay, so our oil is shimmering. It is time to add in the mushrooms and just watch your arms here because this oil is going to be really, really, really hot. So, and it will splatter. So you just want to make sure that you do not burn yourself. Okay, great. Now let's add in the salt. Nice toss on there. Now we're going to stir this so that um, the mushrooms can all coat in this nice olive oil salt mixture. So just, and then one may want to pop out. It wasn't ready. So let's see. So give it a nice stir. And now we're going to let this cook on high, undisturbed. So I know you're going to want to stir them and, and touch them and, you know, hang out with the mushrooms, but just let them rest undisturbed for five to seven minutes until the liquid released by the mushroom evaporates, leaving them a nice, deep, golden brown. So undisturbed five to seven minutes, and then we'll come back and I'll tell you what to do for the next step. Okay, we're back. It's been seven minutes. My mushrooms, all of the, um, the natural water content has evaporated. We've got nice golden brown here. Look, I'll flip for you so you can see how they look on the other side. So see, nice and golden brown here, perfect. Now we're ready to stir and saute. Now you're allowed to disturb the mushrooms. So we're just gonna give it a nice stir here. And we're gonna continue cooking, stirring occasionally for an additional three to five minutes until kind of all the sides are nice and golden brown. So now you're allowed to just disturb the mushrooms until your heart's content. And, um, and we're just going to keep sautéing until all the sides are nice and golden brown. Three to five minutes and we'll come right back. Okay, so it's all nice, rich, golden brown. Look how beautiful. Now we can reduce our heat to medium. So reduce that just a tiny bit. Medium heat, beautiful. We're going to add in our garlic. Now just pop it right in the pan. Just let it go for like 15 to 20 seconds. We just want it to soften. So just mix, oh that smells amazing. Kind of stir it all together with the mushrooms. Make sure everybody's getting some garlicky goodness. All right, great. Now, we're gonna add in our sherry. And we're gonna scrape the bottom of the pan and keep stirring and scraping. Again, just like 15 seconds until it evaporates, which it pretty much did immediately. Our pan's still nice and hot. So just give it one more nice toss. Look at that, perfectly evaporated. We're good to go. Turn off our heat. Now we can toss with our parsley. And you are ready to transfer your sauteed mushrooms with garlic and parsley to either a plate, a bowl. You can serve it with a slotted spoon if you're just doing it as like, um, you know, a side dish or you can even serve it with some toothpicks so people can just pop in there and pop a little bite of yummy, yummy sauteed mushrooms with garlic and parsley as an appetizer. There you go. So simple, so delicious. That's how you make sauteed mushrooms with garlic and parsley. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe. And if there's something that you wanna learn how to make, send me an email at requests at And don't forget to check out our other great videos.